Hi, I'm Jeff Rasmussen from the Tech Zone at FamilyTreeWebinars.com. Today I'm going to show you how to colorize a black and white photograph in one step. A few years back, I authored the book Digital Imaging Essentials. In the genealogy sphere, it became a bestseller. One of the advanced photo editing techniques gave step-by-step -step instructions on how to add color to a black and white photograph. And if you're good, the 11 steps required to do this might take you a good 15 or 20 minutes or longer. Well, if you have the book, will you please now rip out page 70 and replace it with this one step I'm about to show you? At myheritage.com slash in color, all you do is upload your black and white photograph, and in a few seconds, you will be looking at history in full color. Here's my great-grandmother in the early 1900s. And for the first time, here she is in full color. Incredible. Here's me with my father, grandfather, and great-grandfather in the 1970s. And here we are after uploading to My Heritage in Color. And here are my third great-grandparents in the 1800s, before and after. It's being called the best technology in the world for coloring black and white photographs. I agree. Let's do a live demo now. At myheritage.com slash in color, click on the upload photo button. I'll select this family photo here and click open. And a few seconds later, I'm seeing this photo for the first time ever in color things you can do from here. Upload another photo, share the photo, or go to My Photos, or download the photos. Let's upload just one more. Amazing, isn't it? Let's go to My Photos. This is the gallery of photos in my My Heritage account. You'll notice a little color wheel icon in the lower right of a photo. This indicates that this photo has been colorized. Click on a photo where you can view the original or view the colorized photo. And clicking on the download link lets you download either version. The great thing here is MyHeritage is not replacing your original, but rather has created a new one for you. And then on the right, you can add this photo to the person in your MyHeritage tree. Now a couple of notes. The colors are reconstructed by the colorization algorithm and may not be historically accurate. However, the model was trained by millions of sample photos and as a result, it is capable of generating very realistic results but there are cases where it has no way of knowing what the true colors were like specific items of clothing however I really lucked out last night when I showed my wife her parents wedding photograph which she has never seen in color stunned the first thing she said was how did you know that mom's flowers actually were red they were red cost anyone can colorize several photos for free afterwards a subscription is required Users who already have a complete subscription with MyHeritage can colorize an unlimited number of photos. Non-subscribers will notice a watermark of the MyHeritage logo on the bottom right of their colorized photos, whereas complete subscribers are able to produce colorized photos that are logo-free. So if you're on the fence, this may be the thing that encourages you to sign up. The technology for colorizing photos automatically is amazing, but it isn't perfect. The perfectionists among you will notice that some colors may seem incorrect or inconsistent. Improvements will be rolled out to MyHeritage in the coming months as soon as they become available. Finally, check this out. Here's my third great-grandfather, David Brown. I cleaned up the photo a little bit on my own and then uploaded to MyHeritage in color. This is the finest technology to come around in a long time. Now it's your turn. Head up to myheritage.com slash in color 
and start adding color to your photographs in one step.